A badge or helmet does not shield one from the emotional trauma of the job. Oftentimes people say, well, who rescues the rescuer? Who goes in and takes care of the police officers and firefighters? Well, the chaplains do. As soon as he heard about the Amtrak crash, Preston Bang, the executive director of the Tacoma Pierce County Chaplaincy, rushed to his office and helped dispatch volunteers across the county. We have these various venues that I had to kind of keep track of. This organization trains dozens of chaplains whose phones will ring at all hours, asking them to help firefighters and police by providing comfort, information, a hand to hold, and so much more. 48 hours after this event, we know that firefighters, police officers, first responders, dispatchers, they are coming down off of their adrenaline, and now is the time for them to even share a little bit more of what they're feeling. 12 Pierce County chaplains responded to the derailment. They notified families about who was injured or killed. They met with stunned witnesses whose morning commutes took a sudden, horrific turn. They were at hospitals, police departments, and fire stations. I did speak to a chaplain who did mention that uh, one of the fire department's command staff came up to them and said, you know, we could not have done this without you, uh, and especially after the debriefing at their station because some of their members were actually the ones that were in there pulling bodies out and separating the living from the dead and witnessing all of this, this trauma. And their job is not finished. Anguish, grief, and stress are not as easy to spot as physical wounds. They linger long after the scene is cleared. That's when those emotions come out. Ted Land, King 5 News.